Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. In this video, you're going to learn how to install a motherboard into a computer case. There's a lot involved in this, especially the tools that you need. It's very important that you have the right tools for the job, like a screwdriver. No. A screwdriver, one that overcompensates for something, and the amount of hardware that came with your motherboard. That includes this little end barrier thing the actual physical motherboard itself and your computer case because it'll be very difficult to install a motherboard in a case if you don't have a case fact okay now before we get started this is a Phillips head screwdriver by the way that's what you're gonna need um, we need to line this up with the computer case and the motherboard now your motherboards only gonna fit in your computer case one way because your computer case will have a little hole here where these connectors are supposed to stick out, okay? So that means it's going to go in this way because that's the only way it'll fit. Otherwise, I'd have to turn the motherboard over face down and I don't know any computers built like that. I'm sure they exist. But I'm going to take this connector here or this adapter or whatever you want to call it and I'm going to line it up. And as you can see, all the hardware lines up in this way, okay? So that means that this face plate needs to go on it this way, right? So, let's keep that in mind. Let's go inside and it clicks into place like so. Just put some pressure on it, clicks right in, it's in. So that's the first part. Make sure your face plate's installed the right direction. I've done it a million times, I've put it in the wrong way. Then you put the motherboard in, and then you realize, oh, I'm an idiot. And then you pull the motherboard back out, and then you flip it around, and it's just, just do it right the first time, if you can. Second rule, or second area, is to make sure that you have your mounts installed. What's kind of cool is this case that I bought apparently had them pre-installed, which is a cool feature. But if you don't have them pre-installed, you'll take your mounts, which are these little... Here, let me see if I can pull them out here. I got some back here. They look like this, okay? If you can see it on there, it's having trouble focusing, I think. Okay, well, they, they look like this, okay? They just mount in there, and you're going to put screws on it. But you want the holes on your motherboard to line up with it. So if I take my motherboard, it's got a series of holes in it. One's here, one's here, one's here, one's here, one's here, one's here. Typically, for an ATX motherboard, it's going to have six total holes, okay? So you're going to install a mounting screw for every single hole on there. And I have one, two, three, four. Oh, looks like they only installed two of them. So let me put my other ones on here. Five. Apparently they only installed it for a micro ATX, which requires usually only four screws. So hopefully I can get this on here. There we go. Let me get one more. Six. It's a lot harder than it looks. Okay. Now that that's done, you're going to gently take your motherboard and you're going to place it in here and line up your mounting screws with the holes. And where you at mounting screws? Oh, you know this this is a good opportunity for me to tell you. See this over here in the inside? Can you go inside there and show them that? These little connectors can sometimes stick out, and it's kind of hard to squeeze it in there. And you have to actually push your your motherboard through those that face plate so that you can actually line it up to your holes properly. Kind of an annoying thing but if you don't get them through there your holes won't line up so let me go ahead and make sure it's pushed through there all the way see which ones are holding it up sometimes it's holding them up in this particular case it's the network card one that was holding it up so that's pretty much as good as it's going to get right now then take your screws and your awesome Phillips head screwdriver and screw them in. 
for all six of them. I'm only going to do one because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me put in screws all day. But once that's complete, your motherboard is officially installed. So that's all there is to this video. That's how you install a motherboard into a case. I always have to tell you, make sure you have your static wrist strap. I'm really bad about telling people that, but you can get a cheap one from like Staples or Best Buy. Well, Best Buy, I'm sure they'll charge you $20 for one. You can get a cheap one from anywhere but Best Buy. So, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Comments, if you like this video, don't forget to like it, and also share it if you think it would be useful to anybody. Follow me on the major social networks. Stay tuned, i got plenty more videos to come. We're going to finish building this computer eventually.